All right, another one. The the wonderful a kitty is tenacious and incongruent. <laughs> I like this word, incongruent. Incongruent with his unending graveyard with unrequited inferno doki doki. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we see Doki Doki, I'm gonna click on it. Doki Doki philosophy <laughs> with its essence of extraordinary passion, cap, captive, embrace the spinning landscape of, a, of existence. That's awesome and vibrant about suicide. <laughs> about suicide. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! They're doing like they're like weird jokes. Okay, they're they're talking about a squid, right? Monica likes squid, uh, and then she's like, Natsuki's like, Mon Ika. That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. <laughs> because, you know, Ika is squid. So our childhood friends acting weird. It's doing a pretty good job about kind of uh, just leading up to whatever is going to happen. It's not really pulling any quick ones right now. There's like a few little things like her sa telling you to save. Uh, but that's pretty much it. There's nothing, nothing crazy yet. Right now, I think um, a childhood friend is just being kind of jealous a little bit. That's why she's acting all weird. Of course, the the main character is pretty oblivious to it. I always kind of like it. That always happens in these VNs a lot of times. Am I gonna feed her chocolate again? <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out. Wait, I guess while I'm, I'm just kind of skimming. Uh, this is a free VN. And if you're interested in it at all, you should really just play it yourself at this point. Nothing really happened for me. And But if you think from my video, if you think that you're interested in this, uh, go play it. It's... Or read it to be in. Go read it. It's, uh... It's free. There's nothing... You're not gonna lose anything. It's free. Yeah, she's super jealous. You're jealous. Thinking that I wrote that poem for the other girl, even though I don't care. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose. And all that was never ever sought. And I and here I am, a feather. Lost adrift the sky victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope. Knowing legends don't exist, but when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, legend is that all remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilit, the twilit sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall, and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There's no meaning, there's no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I'm not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat. And I pick up a gust of wind. Writing tip of the day. 
Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get, an, get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you what, that your writing is good or okay or bad, they want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and will, it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? I do like your uh, little tip thingies. Let's have Yuri last. I'm pretty curious about hers. I'll be your beach. Your, your beach. <laughs> your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wander over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you, d that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand, bathe in the sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let, let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail, set you free in a, my windy sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away, the beach that will daydream, that you will daydream about each day, the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you learn to love yourself again. Uh, I like the, the the music that plays here. I I think I'm picking the words that she likes. <laughs> I'm like picking random words. I, I pick the words that that I think are either funny or I like the sound of. <laughs> not because they're like coherent in any way, like they're not put together. Like I put like kitty and like suicide together in a poem that's a good poem so she's always alone she's like talking about it and then she she really enjoys that uh, I, I'm able to read a book with her and feed her chocolate I guess I took her route on accident I, I guess I have to pick like really easy words for the other one the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow bathing in the distance a blue green light flickers a lone figure crosses the path its path a silhouette obstructing the eerie gr glow my heart pounds the silhouette glow grows closer closer I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility, but I'm too late. He steps into the street light. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers, my heart pounds. He raises his arm. Tune. Time. Tune. It looks like tune. Time stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand. The fl flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. Really, really odd, Pope. Not sure, too sure about that one I just didn't understand it really I just get lazy reading <laughs> like I can't read for a, for a very long period of time because I just uh, I kind of tune it out when I start reading I just read the words and then it comes out the other end right happens a lot I got a very short attention span 
for these things. I'm actually surprised I read so many visual novels back... What was it? High school? It kept my attention because I thought that it was cool to do it, you know? I was like, oh, it's cool to read a visual novel. Because no one else done it. It's cool to like Tao Hao because no one else knows about it, you know? And everyone knows what Toho is. I still like Toho. A Toho. I haven't been playing them. But they're cool. VNs are cool. Good VNs are better. Man, what is this? Third day? They're fighting over me already? Jesus. I'm badass. Okay, I guess we're getting a big choice here. Yep, here, here's a big choice. So I'm gonna save. And uh, I think this is like one of those important choices. Um, should I go with the feel bad one? I feel like this is like the true, the true choice you should be picking kind of thing, right? Uh, I want to get this over with. I feel like if I choose her, it'll end faster. <laughs> right, she's coming over with ingredients. We're gonna bake, bake bullshit for the festival, school festival. You know, the, the normal uh, anime, Japanese anime thing. Seeing what for the first time, lady. Bad depression. Okay, I can see where this is going now, like... It was, uh, I think in the warning too, like if you're depressed easily, you shouldn't play this game kind of thing. So, she has really bad depression. It's tough. Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. Yeah, depression's a really shitty thing, you know? Easily depressed before you play this game, do not play this game. <laughs> I think it even says on the, the warnings, if you're easily depressed, don't play this game. It might be really shitty for you. Is that how depressed people, like, think about? I'm pretty sure that's, like, a lot of them, right? Like, oh, I don't want you to s spend effort on, uh, you know, caring for me kind of thing. Wow, that kind of sucks. It's like, oh, let me show you these people so you can make friends with them. And then you make friends with them, and then she's like, oh, well, that hurts me now. I'm sure a lot of people probably relate. I'm going to assume that. It's getting really hard for me not to feel bad, you know. Do feel for this character. And, uh... I feel like picking the wrong choices. Like, not picking this character or the uh, Yuri character. The, the quiet character. Uh, I'm not gonna get a very good ending to it, right? <clears throat> This is a pretty feels moment too. Pretty good. I feel like I should have chose her in the uh, in the other one at that point. At this point, I don't know. Let's see. If the ending's really shitty, I'll go back and see what happens. I just don't want the ending to be like really bad. Cause then I'd feel bad, and then whoever's watching this video feel bad. Be like, why'd you pick that? You suck! You know, I don't want that to happen. When playing a VN, here's another thing. VNs are long. Did I, did I already say that? VNs are very long. Like, some of the reading you have to do, it's like, I'm trying to remember how long some of the VNs I read. Uh, the ones I've read aren't too long. But some of them are, like, 
12 hours long or more. I think some of them even can reach like 20 hours long of just reading. You're not supposed to play a VN in one sitting. It's, that was never like their, the point of VNs. And uh, they're, they're just novels. Some of them are really long. Jesus. Rape. Don't do it, she's a little girl. I, I ate the icing off her finger. We baked cakes. A little like flag happened. Flags are uh, things in VNs that people use as a term. I got closer to this character kind of thing. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I like how there's no music. It's just just quiet. The the quiet is really weird. Like it's actually kind of scary. Like whoops. Okay, she runs. Music. Comforting. I'm okay now. <laughs> how much fun you're having? Man, depressed people are weird, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Depressed people... It sucks being depressed, okay? <laughs> I don't mean that in any bad way. It's really shitty. You know what else is like really creepy? It's like this thing over here? I don't know what that is. It's really creepy. Man, it's gonna end so crappy. If, if I think I know what's gonna happen, I'm like assuming what's gonna happen. It's gonna be so crappy. She likes me so much that she wants to die. That's how she feels. Ooh. Ooh, what a, what, <laughs> what a choice. That's a harsh ass choice, you know me. We're already getting into some like really harsh choices in this game. We had uh, we had this one, which was your typical like root choose chooser, right? You just choose whatever root, and then this one over here, ooh, ooh, this is this is one that will like, this is like the the shitty root, and then this one's the I want to make amends root, right? Ooh, this is gonna be shitty. <laughs> I don't even want to choose. I mean, if I was put in the situation... I don't know, man. If there was a, like, I don't know one, I wouldn't pick that one, but that's like... That's shitty too. Like, any answer would be shitty. Did I save? Okay, I did save. That's a shitty choice, man. Ooh. <laughs> that, that was like nervous laugh. That's not like a normal laugh. That's a shitty ass choice. Man, I feel like playing it again and just going her route. Aw, oh, man, that feels bad, though. Like, especially like a childhood friend that you've known for forever. Right? But you don't have like real feelings for that care like that person. It's like the kind of thing. I've never been put in that situation, but man. Let's see what happens. Yeah, this story is actually pretty decent, kind of. Now that we know like what's what's like the kind of overarching plot. I did, how come I didn't get a choice to go over there? I would have went over there. Yeah, she's saying some weird stuff. And it's quiet again. So it's putting me on edge. She's like, um, she knew about what happened yesterday. Uh, left her hanging in the morning. Uh, she's, a, she's just saying she's the club president. 
she and she says, I probably know a lot more than you think. Maybe she's the, the crazy. The crazy. Can we not have the no music? It's super like giving me anxiety. <laughs> Ooh, let, let's read this like scary ass poem. Ooh, oh, oh, that's scary already. Is a horror game? Get out of my head. I do what I know what's best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But this poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. What is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Can we have music? I li like even like a you know, scary music would be fine, but just nothing. Uh oh. Like my hands are getting sweaty. I'm not even in there. This game. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, that kind of scared me. I knew that was going to happen, though. I knew that was going to happen. Shitty end. We got the shitty end, guys. Jesus. I should put like a war warning somewhere before this thing. Jesus. I I, I knew this was kind of going to like kind of going to happen. Jeez. Wow. Does it end here? Man, I feel super terrible though. <laughs> ah. Wow, that was... I knew it was gonna happen. I feel super terrible. <laughs> I feel so bad. What is this? The girl, whatever this is, my neighbor. She's like completely cut out. Now, now things are getting interesting though. Jesus, this VN is crazy. Like, even though I knew it was coming, I knew it was gonna happen. It's just the way they did it. <clears throat> Man, my voice is cracking because I, I don't read this much. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> you see that? That was crazy. Whoa. I don't want to miss out on a lot of visual stuff, but you know, for VNs, uh, we're always looking at this, right? We're not looking at the characters on screen. We're always looking at the text. And I kind of wish uh, the visual stuff, like the, the crazy little thingies, like the glitches, I wish they would either stay longer or something that makes me see the glitches more. Cause I, <laughs> they're really cool. Okay, this is the same so far. 
It's whenever we get to like the Sairi stuff. Like so far this this VN does a good job at like developing characters, so it was a lot more harsh when that character did that. When uh when Sairi did that, right? Is really really harsh. Because you kinda understand the character a little bit more, right? It's like, oh this character has depression, you assume what's gonna happen after you hear the word depression. In a game where it says you sh if you're depressed easy you shouldn't play it. This is weird. I'm scared to press yes, but sure. I can't convince myself to go to therapy when I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'd rather keep this up until I blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room. I'm tired as hell now. <laughs> I'm like spent after that ending. <laughs> I'm a heaven spent, man. <laughs> Ah, uh, my heart. It's... It's unrestrained misery. No, I don't want to... Let's make it happy of excitement. And exploding dance of raindrops and happiness in the sunset. Doki doki. <laughs> Kawaii. <laughs> Man, that's a freaking harsh ending. Yeah, see the visual things? Really damn cool. Why are you front in front of the thingy? I can't read, Lee. Alright, she picked me a book, okay. We know this happens. Pick me a book, we're gonna read it together. Or not. Fucking Monik Cam. What was that? Freak, freaking Monica. <laughs> oh, because I was picking. Okay, so it does matter then, right? Because I was picking like happy things. So it does matter. Par far parfait girls. <laughs> Sounds like a good manga. Don't don't judge a book. I wonder what words you'd have to pick to trigger um Sairi's uh flag. That's the most gameplay I've ever gotten from from a visual novel is picking words. I'm actually surprised I got uh Yuri like three times in a row. She's she's actually kinda creepy. If we look at her from different angles. I like this remix though. Oh. That was weird, man. Wow, they don't even let you see what she says. Alright, it's like interesting already because I just want to know what happens at this point. Like I could, I could just, never mind, I can't just load, my saves are gone. Wow, that is, that is, that is something. Let me, um, let me go ahead and save. Alright, let's start with, um, Monica. I wonder what the the glitches would kind of mean. Is is it Sairi feeling like jealous towards these characters, so she's controlling my game in a way that I don't like? Is this a new one? Uh, I brandish my pen. I feel like if I do this during a poem, right? Like turn uh, turn off the poem. I might see like some creepy ass bullshit. I'm too lazy to read, so I'm not gonna read. I'm not gonna read the poems anymore. I think it was the same poem. I just don't remember. Okay, yeah, she just says the same stuff. 
The problem with this is that you're going through a lot of the same text. And uh, you're going to want to skip, right? Like, oh, I already did this stuff. I want to skip it. But then you're, you'll skip on the cool glitch stuff. Like, I don't want to read it again. But I want to see the cool, creepy, glitchy stuff. Okay, yeah, we already read this. I'm just going to do this just in case. This one... I triggered her flag. And I like your simple poem. It's very nice. And this we can skip. What's going on? I don't want to choose, you creepy ass game. What happens if I don't choose? Will the game just like crash? Or will it stay here? I'm curious. I think it's stuck. I have no clue. I'm spooked. I am the spooked game. It's called Yuri. Stop! What? What do you want me to click, game? Yes? What do you want? Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. Let's go back inside once they're done yelling. Some president I am, right? Can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little bit more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my own foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend le less time with others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. <laughs> I like how they wanted me to click that. They wanted me to click hers for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> oh. That was frightening. Jesus, this game is making me tired. <laughs> okay, like, I don't know, man. This freaking game, jumpy. What is this? I want this one. Mm. They don't want me to press to press that one. They don't want me to press that one. Agonizing. Sing. The quiet <laughs> nature is the breathe, just the breathe, the sunny calm, calm down, calm, calm, pout, fireworks, you know, those are happy, uh, giggle, uh, love, family, do not spook me, <laughs> bliss, just uh, sleep, sleep. Be bed. I like beds. I'm going to run from the kitty. Man. I never knew a freaking visual novel can put me on edge as this one can. Doki Doki. My literature club, man. <laughs> Doki Doki. <laughs> I, I never knew a freaking visual novel could spook me. As much as this one has. Like, first playthrough, it was very grounded. Right? A lot of it was just like your simple VN stuff with a dark twist. There's a lot of dark VNs out there. Uh, there's a lot of VNs where a character could die by making a wrong choice. Right? Um, but this one's a like, completely different thing. Like, it seems like a... I don't know if it's trying to be like a spooky ghost or something, but... The the second playthrough here became, you know, ten times more interesting because you don't know what's happening. We don't know if it's a ghost or... something. But it's really good. It's getting me really into this. 
I think I'm gonna play it all in one sitting. Never know. <laughs>